hello welcome back to my channel my name is kidna in today's video we're gonna go into the full moon in aquarius i don't know about y'all but i'm already feeling this like a couple days before even the full moon so i'm gonna say get your cup of tea of your choice and let's dive into this also, before I start, I want to say thank you to all my subscribers that's been with me since 2016 and to all my new subscribers. If you're new to this channel, this channel uses astrology to help us manifest our goals. And today's video is going to be in full moon in Aquarius. Wow. I've been feeling this a couple of days ago and my Aquarius sits in the sixth house Oof, and it is a lot so let's dive into it okay okay so the first thing is for this full moon what insights or what in that area of your life are you letting go for me for example my aquarius sits in the sixth house and i'm letting go of certain habits and routine that is not working well for me one is working on eating more at home meal meaning i'm gonna cook more of my meal than eating out and that's a big thing and the six houses about your well-being overall health routine and fitness and that's where my aquarius sits and it's like <sighs> even though you know it's not a good habit or routine but it's just something you're so used to and this full moon, poof, just let me know. Uh-uh. There's several things I'm gonna I'm letting go, but this is just one example. So find out where your Aquarius sits and just let it go. Okay, for Aquarius and Aquarius rising, your Aquarius Aquarius. Aries or Aries rising, your Aquarius sits in the eleventh house. What are you letting go? What is coming to fulfillment or gratitude in that area of your life and the 11th house is all about organization group community society it's something that you letting go or that came to a fulfillment that you're grateful for in that area of your life okay if you're a Taurus Taurus rising it is Aquarius is sitting in your 10th house and that might be you letting go of something that has to do with your repetition, your status, your career. If you are a Gemini, Gemini rising, your Aquarius is sitting in the ninth house. And that has to do maybe you letting go of something with your spiritual belief, um, something with a higher education. And if you Cancer, Cancer rising, your Aquarius is sitting in the eighth house. You might be letting go of something that has to do with um, shared resource with a partner, something that has to do with deep transformation. Maybe you letting something go in that area. What did you learn? I also would like y'all to write down in the comment, what did you learn from this full moon in Aquarius? Okay, Leo, Leo rising. This Aquarius is sitting in your seventh house, all about relationship what are you letting go that is not no longer serving you and your relationship Vogo Vogo rising <laughs> me your sixth house which is all about your health your routine your um routine again your um your health your fitness overall health what are you letting go like i said i'm letting go on eating out more i am focusing on doing more of my meals at home all right libra libra rising you're sitting in the fifth house what are you letting go in the fun area in your children parenting speculation area what are you letting go maybe you letting go on playing too much gambling and maybe focusing on more on a creative art that you could do um scorpio scope or scorpio rising you are letting something go in the fourth house what are you letting go in the fourth house what are you reflecting on fourth house is about home and family something about home and family you just letting go to make room for new sagittarius or sagittarius rising third house 
you are letting go of something that has to do with communication, short trips, siblings, something. Write it down in the comment. Please write it down. Even if you don't write it down in the comment, write it down in your journal. Okay, Capricorn or Capricorn rising. Your Aquarius is sitting in the second house. What are you letting go in your personal finance, personal possession, how you think about yourself, your self-worth, what you see is valuable? What are you letting go in that area? Okay, Aquarius or Aquarius rising, that's you. First house, your image, your body, what are you letting go in that area? Okay, last but not least, like they always say, Pisces or Pisces rising, what are you letting go in the 12th house, which is behind the scene, your subconscious, your mental health, self-sabotaging, what are you letting go so you can move forward? Um, so I've said all the sign. Now we're going to the gratitude. What are you grateful for? For me, I'm grateful for that I have a shelter to live with me and my family and i'm so grateful for that even though i wanted to move into a new home however that didn't work out however i'm grateful for the shelter i do have and i have to work on improving my situation and adapting to where i am right now it's temporary and i need to focus where i am right now so that's one thing I can say I'm very grateful for that I have shelter, you know. Um, so find out what are you grateful for? What is it that a lot of people, we just go on with life and not knowing some people don't have certain things and we feel entitlement to certain things and we take for granted what we do have in our life, okay? So find out what you're grateful for. And now, what did you see that came to fulfillment in this full moon? Oh my God, I've gotten so much insights <laughs> that I am so focused on my health. That's number one. I am so focused on my health that I feel, like I said, I'm letting go on eating out more and doing my own food even if it's not something healthy, it's a start that I'm the one cooking it. The energy is very powerful because when you eat out, you don't know what energy that person has and they're cooking your food. So for me, that's the insight I got. I'm like, you know what? It's a start. Start cooking at home your own food, okay? Okay. So this is what I have today for the full moon in Aquarius. If you have any questions, I will have my email in the description. Also, don't forget to get your self-love journal and your abundance journal. Thank you so much for watching. Again, this channel is for using astrology to help us manifest our goals. Thank you so much again, and I will see you next time. Bye.